What's up everybody, Blackjack Eagle here, and today I'm going to try to solve a decade-old investigation on whether or not who originally owned the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. And I know a lot of you have questions like, where did it come from and how to obtain that vault drip so I can do vault pimping. But a quick word of warning, there is indeed spoilers in this video, so be warned. <laughs> Starting the investigation off, we had to go to Megaton and head inside Craterside Supply to greet Moyer Brown and ask her questions regarding to the Armor Vault 101 jumpsuit. As soon as we step foot inside, I have a suspicion that Moyer Brown might be autistic or having a spectrum of it because she pays attention to specific topics more than others, like the Wasteland Survival Guide. This is coming from someone who is autistic himself. Hmm, yes, the floor here is made out of floor. <laughs> Back on topic, we gotta greet Moira Brown, of course. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Now the first question you should ask is where'd you get the vault suit back there, which is the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. I'm pretty Getting sure the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit is easy enough. You just gotta talk about your life in the Great. vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. That's terrible, but it'll be great for a foreword. So in that sense, it's great. I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit, just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? I can pay you and it'll be fun. Now you can help Moira Brown with the Wasteland Survival Guide or not, it's up to you. So Moira Brown stated that the original vault suit belonged to a girl, which is her first piece of evidence, and the girl that she talked to did not know how to survive the waste, so she offered to armor her vault suit up, which is her second piece of evidence. Now we gotta ask ourselves, who does not know how to survive the waste? The answer would be vault dwellers. Who wears vault suits? Vault dwellers. So for the rest of the evidence, we gotta look at the back of the vault suit and figure out where it came from, which is Vault 101, the exact vault you originally came from in the beginning of Fallout 3. Going back to Vault 101 in the beginning of the game before we leave Vault 101, we gotta go into the Overseer's office, open his locker up, and then get the password for the terminal. That's where we should start things off. Now going into the terminal, we go to View Scouting Reports and then Report 2241-02. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of Radex with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springville is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. Now, turning into the next page in a couple seconds, I will give you... We encountered a group of monstrous ants, which appear to confirm Mackay's series of mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. And it says, see Exhibit A. In order to see Exhibit A, you got to click out. And then once you click out and go to Exhibit A, it shows a big giant ant they were talking about. Continuing with the page, the good news is that human civilization still survives despite everything we discovered a settlement known as Megaton, and it says C Exhibit B. 
So now we just got to back out of the terminal and go to Exhibit B, similar to the first picture like we just did. And seeing Exhibit B, it shows the front entrance of Megaton. Continuing the list, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. And proceeding to turn the page... We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the Capital Wasteland, which is the area around DC is now called. From them, Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization of sorts, but it seems that giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Adnis remained in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Now, we already have two names, and then at the end, it says Ann Palmer, survey team leader, February 10th, 2241. So, we have three people on the list that could be the original Armored Vault 101 suit owners. Now, let's find out who originally owned it. Starting off with Agnes, Agnes is located in the diner area in Vault 101 while the vault is under attack by rad roaches, and... Before you leave the vault, go inside the diner and you will come across a dead body named Grandma Taylor. That is unfortunately Agnes, and she is dead and she cannot get up at all. I've fallen, and I can't get up! However, what rules out Agnes as being the original owner of the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit is the fact that Moira Brown originally lived in Canterbury Commons, and then she eventually left sometime before 2263, and then she moved to Megaton. But Agnes left Megaton in 2258 because of problems with her heart, or heart complications, which rules her out as being the original owner because she left before she even met Moira. Now, in order to find Lewis or our second person on the scouting report, we got to go back to Vault 101 after 10 days of leaving it and receive the Vault 101 emergency frequency from Amada to get the password. after you left my father's gone mad with power if you can hear this please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine i changed the door password to my name if you're hearing this and if you still care enough to help me you should remember it message repeat now use the password amada to open the vault door once we are back in vault 101 we can see it's absolute chaos down here and some vault residents want to leave with something along the lines of Back to the subject, we can see our second person on the scouting report, which is Officer Taylor, a.k.a. Lewis. We know he is Lewis because he talks about Agnes dying from a heart attack. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened, and all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. However, Lewis is ruled automatically not the owner of the Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit because Moira Brown stated that it was a female who owned it. The last person on the list is Ann Palmer, the survey team leader. Who is this person and where is she at? And that's the big issue in this investigation. Looking at Ann Palmer's family tree, she has both a mother and a son. We're going to start off with Jonas Palmer. Jonas first appears at your birthday party when you're nine years old, and he ends up talking to your dad through the intercom. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. I think you're when going down the reactor level in the vault, we could see Jonas in person, and this is our Jonas first time we see him, and he is, of course, assisting your dad. Both of them will try to teach you how to shoot and use VATS, or 360 no-scope noobs, and please nerf BB gun, it's OP.
as I can tell, Jonas also appears before your goat boy, test to prove if you're so the greatest yes, of all time. Class to take your goat exam. That's why he's the goat. The goat. <laughs> Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? However, that is unfortunately on, the last time we get to, to see up. him alive, as Amada brings you the bad news. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone, and my father, he's kind of gone crazy. It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men, they took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. Going to Jonas's dead body, we could see that security chief Hannett is the one that killed him. I started blasting. Rest in peace to the homie Jonas, but when looting his body, you could see that, of course, he has a note from Dad. I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, but there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Jonas's death was very sudden and unexpected, but why did he die, some of you are asking. Well, in short answer, the Overseer got him killed because he did not see eye to eye with your dad. You could see at first hand how much of a bad person he is when you're nine years old following the Overseer to his office upstairs and hearing his conversations. Enjoy the party, sir? Bah, I only showed up because Amata's friends with the brat. Give them a few more minutes and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure thing, sir. She's Matter of fact, it goes back further when you were born. You can hear the dialogue between your dad and the overseer not liking each other. Come on. Hang on, Captain. Hang on. Okay. You want We need a doctor, not a dead man. Fail to meet my expectations and there will be talk. Don't look straight into the light now. The Overseer is not just awful towards your father, he is also bad towards Vault 101's residents by forcing him to work very long shifts and does not care if you're sick or not. Like for example, when reading your dad's terminal, you go to Stanley and your dad explains that Stanley overworked himself and got sick with a major headache, where he was supposed to be laying down, but the Overseer told him to go back to work with aspirin even though it was not working. So, the Overseer is pretty overzealous. But it's way more extensive than we think. The Overseer is so corrupt and overzealous that in your GOAT test when reading question 10, it says who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to one we owe everything including our lives. The answers are all the Overseer, so the answer is way more clear now. The Overseer wants to be a dictator or a wannabe mustache man. And remember, everyone, you can't mix dictator without a dick and a tater tot. Dick. Tater. <laughs> Now let's talk about the events that led to Jonas' death. Because of your dad's experiments with restoring irradiated water and working on Project Purity, 
Your dad wanted to save humanity by retrieving the Gek, which is a device that can terraform and create life from nothing to plants and water. So your dad wanted to escape the vault from the wannabe mustache man and save humanity. But Jonas died because the Overseer did not like your father and wanted to brainwash everybody. And this is mostly evident because your dad, of course, used the terminal just to be able to open the vault door and get out. And he learned about the Gek from the Overseer's office. Okay, Jonas died very early in the game and did not mention anything regarding to Ann Palmer. What about Lucy Palmer? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Old Lady Palmer is Ann Palmer, but let me reassure you, this grandma that gives you a sweet roll at your nine-year-old birthday party is not Ann Palmer, and there's one line of dialogue to suggest that. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. So what did Old Lady Palmer mean by it could be dangerous for someone your age to go outside? Well, that means two things, since she showed concern for you. One, Old Lady Palmer is indeed Lucy Palmer, and two, she shows concern for you because when looking in the behind the scenes, it is said that Ann Palmer has been lost in the wasteland long ago. And whether or not if she is still roaming the wasteland or is just pretty much dead, we will truly never know, as in there is no logs after the scout recording. But, point being, we have enough evidence to suggest that Ann Palmer is indeed the original owner of the Armor Vault 101 jumpsuit, because it is not said which exact day or year she ended up being missing. However, with her final conclusions, we have found out that 1. Agnes left Megaton before she even met Moira, ruling her out, and 2. Lewis is a male, ruling him out automatically because the original owner is said to be female, and last but not least, three, Ann Palmer is said to be lost in the wasteland, but it's never stated if she died or she got lost in the wasteland roaming it. It's also not stated which year or day she was lost, leading to our evidence that Ann Palmer is the original Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit owner, with the side note that Moira Brown armored it up for her. One last thing to point out is hey, that in the, the Trouble in the Homefront quest, you can talk to Amada, and when you talk to Amada, you can mention the vault to and why you even found it. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before, and they'd lied about it all our lives. I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the whole entire video, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because it was pretty long, and it did take me a while to do it. And I will go ahead and talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you like this sort of content. And don't forget to check my social media in the link in the description below. Peace out.